Hi, I'm Nate, the unexpected vegetarian, and today we're going to make meatless meatballs with eggplant and dried porcini mushrooms or any other kind of dried mushrooms that you have. This recipe takes about three hours from beginning to end, and we're going to start by roasting an eggplant. You can see I've got an eggplant here. It's between one and a quarter to one and a half pounds. Prick it. Prick the uh, skin with a fork all around and you put it in a 325 degree oven for about 45 minutes until it's nice and soft. Then what you're going to do is you're going to let it cool so that you can handle it. You're going to scrape out the flesh into a bowl and we'll make new balls after that. You're going to have one ounce of dried mushrooms. Put that in boiling water about a cup and let that steep for about 30 minutes and then you'll have to let that cool and chop the mushrooms too before you can assemble the meatballs. So we'll get to that. This is going to go in the oven now and we'll see when it comes out. Okay, so we're back. Um, the eggplant came out of the oven and it's cooled enough for me to handle. I've just cut it up and scraped the flesh into this bowl. Um, in the meantime, I put about a cup and a half of hot water on top of the mushrooms, dried mushrooms. Use dried porcini mushrooms or any kind of dried mushrooms that you want to use is fine. I'm using a mix today. Um, so then what we're going to do is once these have steeped for about a half hour, we're going to wait for them to cool a little bit and chop them up real fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix the meatballs. Okay, we're back. Um, so what we did is we've chopped up our mushrooms. We had about one ounce of dried mushrooms. Like I said, we had it in a bowl with hot water and steeped for about a half hour. Now everything goes in here. We've got the one eggplant that we've already cooked and put all the flesh in there. Mushrooms go in. Two cups of seasoned breadcrumbs. I use Italian breadcrumbs. Two cups. Two eggs beaten. We've got about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese grated. It calls for two ounces. That's about my best guess. So it looks like about that. So that goes into with two tablespoons of fresh basil and one tablespoon of fresh parsley. It goes in two. Two cloves of garlic chopped, pretty fine. All right, and then we've got about a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Season your salt and pepper to your taste. And that's it. We just start mixing everything up here. Really mash the uh, eggplant up really good. So I'm going to keep mixing here and we'll come back and we'll start making meatballs. So we've got it all mixed here now and we're going to make some meatballs now. Usually you make them about the size of a golf ball. So um, this recipe is supposed to make about 20. We'll see how many we get out of it, but I like to make them a little firm and you just roll them like that. The trick is to dust them in flour like this, and then we're going to set them on this baking sheet here. I'm going to make another one here. It's kind of a sticky, you know, it's kind of sticky. That's the way it's supposed to be. These meatballs are actually a little bit bigger than I like to make them. Make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to finish rolling these. And when I'm done rolling them, we're going to put the baking sheet into the refrigerator and they're going to be in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. After that, we're going to take them out and we're going to pan fry them to get some color on them. We'll show you how to do that when you come back. Okay, so we're back. The meatballs have been in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and now they're ready. We've got some oil in the pan here. I like to use 
the electric skillet just because you can fit most of them in there in one try. You can do it on the stove if you want, whatever makes you happy. Um, I use coal oil. It's the reason uh, it like, performs best for uh, when I do my frying. So um, here we go. We're just going to put them in carefully. And probably going to get about half of them in here. They cook for six to eight minutes total. So after you know three or four minutes, you flip them over, and uh, you know, we get them brown on all sides. Roll them, roll them around a little bit, and then when you're done with that, we're going to put them on a baking dish with a, a rack, and it's got paper towel underneath to catch the oil. So um, going to go ahead and just cook these here. Uh, don't need to sit here and watch me do that. When they start coming out. We'll, uh, we'll show you how that how they look now. So we've cooked our meatballs. Um, like I said, it takes about six to eight minutes, maybe a little less, depends on your fire and your your grease and all that. This is how I take care of them. Use the wooden spoons, and they're, they're really hot right now. I had to do two batches, which is um, I was thinking I was going to get them all in one, but I didn't. And um, Everything's coming out, and then all we have to do is wait for them to cool. And at this point, you can freeze them, or you can eat them right away. I'm going to put this over here so that these can cool so that we can handle them and store them. We've got to try one. It's got a really nice texture, kind of like a meatball. And you can use it with your pasta. Mmm, they're really good. One of my favorite meatless dishes. So, we'll see what recipe we do next time.